Queensland Government major integrated project, the Landholders Driving Change Project, has been rolling out through NQ Tropics into the Triple B catchment for almost two years. David Hardwick has worked with NQ Tropics to develop a rapid assessment of soil health and this was a great opportunity for us to roll out a series of workshops across the Triple B catchment. You can't put a price on learning in the context where it's relevant for you. So learning on farm, that's where you manage your soils, that's what's relevant, they're the day-to-day -day issues. So doing the extension or education activities on farm, it makes it relevant and their people learn when things are relevant to them, otherwise they switch off. I came to learn, I mean, I think you're never too old to learn. What we learnt today about, you know, actually getting your hands in and looking for the roots and the clumps and all the different terms. What sort of bacteria, fungus and all that sort of stuff, organisms that live underneath and how to create a better soil structure. And we've just opened our mind because we think we're looking after the soil and we think we're doing it right, but we've got to learn that that's our income if the soil's crook. We're not going to be able to fatten our stock off and, and uh, live here for a little bit longer. You know, when you get hands on, you get to see and feel and touch that stuff and, and see different situations under different management and that helps to reinforce that it, this is real, it's not just theory and it um, has meaning on different paddocks. So it's to learn a bit about soil testing and just to see what, uh, what sort of soils we've got and what we're dealing with here. I think everybody should know is just what your soil actually has. The two samples I had there, they're both all right, which is pretty good, I'm happy with, because I want to do some seeding and I want to make sure that that uh, soil was actually good. We got one really bad site here with the subsoil that we're actually planning on treating um, and reshaping and forming into a dam, but now we know immediately now from the testing today that it's, the soil's not suitable. So there's no good spending tens of thousands of dollars on something that's not going to work. One of the things is how simple it is to do those little checks. If we can check it on what we believe is the worst part of our land, then um, it's only going to get better to the better part in around the rainforest areas. Yeah, um, we can both do it and we can yeah. enjoy doing it as well. We like to get the guys all interactive and learning about their soils and the way we do it is we turn everyone into a soil organism and we get them to role play what it's like being part of a topsoil. It's called a day in the life of a topsoil activity and it's really just so people can realise all the different interrelationships in the soil between organic matter, plant roots, soil organisms, nutrients, they all combine together in a myriad of ways. So by everyone jumping in and being part of the soil, they get to really feel that, which helps communicate it. I hadn't thought of the scientific side of it. And like we see worms and we see bugs, but you said, oh, all right. But seeing how depth and how things change on that, like I'm not an educated person, but it's just so simple of what he explained to us. We're interested in pasture improvement and we're getting rid of the lantana and wild tobacco but one thing that we're interested in is it's a complete approach, we can't just kill it without improving the pasture. It's good to get everyone together because we're all dealing with the same issues across all of our land so some guys are more experienced with, with certain things and some guys aren't so it was a bit of a nut out to see, try and get a better outcome. I think it's great we get everybody's ideas about uh, you know, what their country's like, what our country's like, and, and when David comes and he can sort of explain the whole thing to us. Infiltration, that because I come from a dry country and after two decades here I appreciate the moisture of Yungala, but I'd like to see how it's dispersed on our land and I learned that today. The take home messages from the, the rash soil workshops we've been running across the dry tropics is to consider your soil as a really important asset in your landscape and for your business and to look after that asset. David's very practical, hands-on approach. He really breaks the science down to good manageable bite-sized pieces for people and give them a better understanding of the capability and limitations of their soils and also ultimately how to keep grass in their paddocks at the end of the dry season, giving them the results that they're chasing, but also the outcomes that we want for the Great Barrier Reef.